hey guys welcome back to my channel so today it is a soup day here and i'm going to be making some of my favorite vegetable beef and barley this is just one of those comforting hearty soups that my mom used to make my grandma made and it's just so good it's even better the next day so i'm going to show you how to make it in the crock pot so let's get started we're going to need a large pan and I'm putting about a tablespoon of oil in there and we're gonna let it get hot. Now I have one pound of um, meat that I've diced in small pieces and I'm using sirloin steak but you could use stew meat or part of a roast or any kind of meat that you have. It doesn't have to be steak. And um, what we're gonna do is cook that in the pan for three to four minutes and we just wanna make sure all the sides of it are brown. And as you can see, it leaves those nice little um, pieces of flavor on the bottom. And what I like to do is take some dry sherry or red wine, and we're gonna deglaze the pan with about a third of a cup. And that is gonna get all those yummy bits from the bottom. And it's gonna add a lot of flavor to our soup. So if you see the bottom of the pan, it's nice and clean. It got all those flavor bits up. And now we're just gonna set this aside and I'll show you the other ingredients. You're gonna need a 32 ounce bag of mixed vegetables. This one had lima beans in it. So if you don't like lima beans, just get the mixed vegetables without them. One and a quarter cup of pearled barley. You can find this where the rice is. Three tablespoons of better than bouillon. If you don't have that, you can just use beef broth, some thyme, some no salt seasoning from Trader Joe's, some Italian seasoning. Now normally I add a half of an onion, small dice, but I didn't have any, so I'm gonna be using um, onion powder, but I would normally put onion in here. Two bay leaves, and now we're just placing our meat that we browned in our crock pot and we're gonna add our bag of the mixed vegetables. And like I said, if you don't like the lima bean ones, just get the other kind. And now I also am gonna be using a teaspoon of chopped garlic. And now I have one cup of diced canned tomatoes, two bay leaves, and now I'm putting approximately one teaspoon of each of the seasonings into the crock pot. Now, this soup is very forgiving. You can um, add more of one seasoning, less of another. What I like to do is have it cook halfway through and then taste it for seasonings. And if you feel like it needs a little bit more, just add it then. So now I'm adding my three tablespoons of better than bouillon and I'm adding the pearl barley Pearl barley, if you've never had it, is a nice, chewy, hearty grain. And now I'm adding seven cups of water, but like I said, if you don't have the better than bouillon, just use all beef broth. Then we're just gonna give that a stir till everything is nicely combined. Now you can cook this on four hours on high or eight hours on low. I cooked it four hours on high, it came out just great. And this is what you have. It turns into a nice, rich, thick soup. The meat is really tender. The broth has so much flavor. I did end up um, adding a few more seasonings halfway through, but like I said, that's all good. Don't forget to take out those little bay leaves because nobody wants to eat those. <laughs> One time I did and they weren't very good. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you a way that I like to freeze my soup if I have extra. I take a silicone muffin pan and I fill each part of it with the soup. I put it on a little baking tray so it's easier to put in the freezer. Then once they're frozen solid, you just pop them right out and put them in a Ziploc bag. That way you don't have to reheat a huge block of soup when you're in the mood to have some soup. You just throw it in the pan or the microwave. And now I'm just gonna put it in the freezer for when I have a craving for that delicious soup. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that little red button. 
Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye everybody.